Good morning, soldier. I'm sure you're itching to get out in the field. But before you do, we're gonna help you brush up on your skills. We've got a lot of new tools to play with. It's best you know how to use them. Now let's make this quick so we can get moving. We're going to start with the camera. Hold the right mouse button down while pushing the mouse in any direction to move the camera across the terrain. Scroll forward and position the camera so that it is centered on the extraction point to the north. What? On, move it out! Move it out! Hold the right mouse button down and scroll forward to center the camera on the extraction point to the north. Good. With Sarge selected, position your cursor anywhere on the map and left click again to give Sarge a move order. Not a problem. Okay. Next you're going to make a drag box. I'm dropping three members of your commando team into the sandbox. Move your cursor to one corner of the screen. Press and hold the left mouse button, and then drag the cursor over them before letting go. Try to get all three units selected in the same box. So, yes, sir. Good. Now left click again to give them a move order, and they'll all move together. You got it. That's all there is to it. Now, practice selecting and moving your units across the map. Where? You'll notice that whenever you select a unit, it deselects any units that were already highlighted. If you hold oh, down shift that. while doing this, you can avoid deselecting the previous units. I'm dropping the other three members of your commando team in. Try to select all seven units on the map at once by holding down shift while selecting them. Excellent job. Those are the basics. Now you're going to learn how to jump to alerts. Anytime an enemy is spotted or one of your units is attacked, an alert is created. You can immediately jump the camera to the location of this alert by hitting the space bar. Enemy sighted. There's a group of tans engaging your units. I'm locking your camera, so you'll have to press the space bar to get to them. Press the s- Your grunt should take care of the tans on their own. You can bring Sarge and the others over to help out, or wait for the grunts to finish them off. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Unit lost. In my sight. Sir! All right! Very good. You're almost done. There are a couple more camera controls to what? learn before you move on. Okay. Try raising and lowering the camera by scrolling the mouse wheel up and down. If your mouse doesn't have a wheel, you can also hold down the control key and right click while moving the mouse up and down. This will give you a different perspective on the map and may help you find units that are hidden or obscured. Don't press the J key. It does nothing. Do not ever go near the J key. What? That's everything. You can stay here and practice what you've learned for as long as you want. When you've had enough, move Sarge to the extraction point to complete your training.
Now you're going to learn how to put together a base, collect resources, and build up an army. There's a lot to learn here, and it's important, so pay attention. You've been given a bulldozer. All the buildings in the base can be built by this unit. Select your bulldozer to pull up its build menu. Ready to bail. Use your cursor to highlight different buildings on the menu. Where do you want? Your cursor should now be replaced by a ghosted version of the HQ. Scroll the mouse to move the building to your desired location. You can tap the angle brackets on your keyboard to rotate the building. Or right click to cancel placement. All when you've found way. a spot, left click to place the HQ. Good. You've ordered your first building. As soon as the HQ has begun construction, your bulldozer is free to start another one. The next building you'll need is a resource depot. This is where dump trucks go to unload the plastic and electric resources they harvest on the map. These resources are scattered around in many different forms and can be identified by moving the target over them. You should see a shovel and a battery near the center of the map. Order a resource depot and place it near these two objects. When the depot is complete, it will produce one dump truck and automatically begin harvesting plastic. To build more dump trucks, you can order them from the HQ. Try doing this by selecting the HQ and left click. Good. By left clicking again, you can queue up another dump truck. By right clicking, you can reduce the number of units queued. And by holding down right click, you can clear the queue for that unit. Now that you've got resources coming in, try using the bulldozer to build a barracks. Ready to build. Where do you want it? Be right there. The barracks is where all your infantry units are made. You can order and queue units in it, just like the headquarters. When you highlight one of the units in its build menu, you'll see the unit's cost, effectiveness against different armor types, and required building level. Take some time to order a few units. I'm here. What in acknowledged? The triangular flag near your barracks is called a rally point. This is where your units will move to when they are completed. You can place this rally point anywhere on the map by selecting the barracks, then left clicking. The next building you'll want is a garage. Need something? If you select the bulldozer, you'll see that the garage is not yet available on the build menu. This is because your headquarters needs to be upgraded first. Select your HQ and click on the Upgrade button at the bottom of the build menu. Good. The HQ is now upgrading. While you wait for it to finish, you can explore the map for more resources or practice building units from the barracks. When the upgrade is complete, go to the bulldozer's build menu and construct a garage. All clear! Where do you want it? Yeah? What'll it be? It'll be right there. Yes, sir! The HQ is now upgraded. Go to the bulldozer's All build clear. menu and construct a garage. Want? The units built by the garage require electricity as well as plastic so your dump trucks will automatically start collecting both resources. Rolling! Fall in! Moving out! Where to? If you select the barracks, you'll notice that some of the units on the build menu cannot be built. To unlock them, you'll need to click on the up... When the upgrade is complete, you will be able to build all the units listed in the barracks. Now try building some base defense. Use the bulldozer to construct a guard tower.
Use the bulldozer to construct a guard tower. All clear. Where do you want it? Mark it. You can obstruct enemy movement around your base by placing barbed wire want? fences. There are several markings along the terrain. Use the bulldozer to place fence posts All on each of these markings. You'll notice that when a fence post or guard tower is ordered, Rolling. it remains selected by the bulldozer. This allows you to place multiple fence posts quickly. When you are finished ordering, click the right mouse button. Be right there. On the way. Each time a fence post is completed, it will automatically connect with any nearby fence posts that are aligned vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. You can disconnect any two fence posts by selecting one post, then left-clicking on the other. Repeating those steps will reconnect the barbed wire. Rolling. Lastly, you can melt down any of your buildings or fences and get back half the resource used to build it. To melt a building, select it, then click on the melt button above the map on the right side of the screen. Need some rolling. That's all there is to base building. Keep Ready practicing for as long as you want. When you've had enough, move Sarge to the extraction point to complete your training. What? Not a problem. Ready to see some action? This time out, you're going to be practicing your combat skills. The ammo is live and so is the enemy. Follow orders, you'll be on the field in no time. First, you're going to learn how to use squads. Select all your units, hold down control on the keyboard, then press the one key to put them in a squad. I'm listening. What? Good. You can also press the 2, 3, and 4 keys on the keyboard to place units in different squads. I'm dropping more units in. Scroll over to select them, then place them in another squad. Sir, yes, sir! Yeah. Another way of creating a squad is by selecting the units, then right-clicking on one of the squad boxes at the bottom of the screen. Once the squad is created, yes, you can sir. select it by pressing the number on the keyboard that corresponds yes, to the squad, or by left-clicking on the squad box at the bottom. Try selecting the squad with Sarge, Riff, and Scourge in it. You've learned all there is to know about squads. You can use them in the game to coordinate attacks, sort your units, and manage large groups without having to reselect each time. No You're going spread. to practice combat now. Reporting. Try using squads in battle. Be right there. I'm listening. The first combat area is straight ahead. Select all your units and move them forward to it's begin. To lead the way. Yes, sir. Sir, get on route. No sweat, huh? Advancing. Select a unit you want to shoot with. Then scroll over a target and left click to attack. Destroy all the targets. Understood. If you attack with different units, you'll notice that each one fires with a different weapon, and each weapon has its own range and firepower. It's important to learn the strengths and weaknesses of each one. Or you could just hurl them blindly at the enemy. That's what most people do. Yeah, 
The targets are destroyed. You're ready for real combat. These targets will be firing back at you. Select all your units and move them into the next area. Enemy sighted. Under taking fire! Attacking! I see him! I see him attacking! En route! Got it! Move me right there! What do you want? No sweat, huh? And understood. Lead the way. Ready. Party. Unit lost. What? I see him. You got it. Excellent. I'm giving you a medic jeep and some additional units. Use the jeep to heal your men. Then move forward into the next area. This time, the enemy will have choppers as well as ground units. You'll notice that some of your men can't hit aircraft. Okay, who's next? On my way. Be right there. Okay, who's next? Lock and load. Yes, sir. Take it easy. God. Sir! Fixing. Oh, what a mess. Rolling! Reporting. Heading out. Sorry, when you're ready, moving move out. forward into the next area. Sir, you're moving out. On my way. We got company! I'm in! Advancing! Got moving out. En route! Advancing! Yes, sir! On. Relax. Lock and look. Not a problem. On my way. Yes, sir. Okay, who's next? Okay, who's next? Loud and clear. Take it easy. God. Sweet dreams. Fall in. We're under attack. On my way. Moving out. Fall in. Loud and clear. No problem. Ready. Fixing. Unit lost. You got it. Call it. Mark it! No problem. No problem. You got it! Okay, who's next? Incoming! What do you want? No sweat. No sweat. Okay, who's next? What do you want? Yes, sir. Heading out. Heading Good out. Good job. You passed. You can head east to the extraction point head now, dancing. or head south and practice right combat in the challenge course. Moving. Acknowledged. I'm coming. Rolling. I'm going, I'm going. I'm coming. 